Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use a cypress.json file. We're going to be using this file to set global configuration values. You're watching Atome Now in Amarco Cruise. Let's dive in. And here we have the last test that we wrote. In this test, we visit the sandbox page at Atome Now. It is this page right here. And we're making an assertion that the title contains this text. What I want to show you today is how we can remove this URL right here and store it in a global configuration file. That file is this one right here, cypress.json. Let me open this file. And right now, this file is empty. It doesn't contain any values in it. This file gets created automatically when we install Cypress. And now we're going to add a value to store the base URL. Let's just say that every time that we want to run a test, we always want to land on the sandbox page. This would be a perfect place to store the base URL. So here I'm going to go inside of this braces and in quotes, I'm going to say base URL and then colon. And in here, we're going to place the base URL. So let's go back to the test and we're going to grab this information right here. So let me go ahead and take this from here and paste it over here. Now Cypress will know to use this URL anytime that we use the cy.visit command. There is one thing that I need to remove here. I need to remove this forward slash. And in my test, when we type cy.visit, I'm just gonna use that forward slash here. And notice that this makes the test a lot cleaner and easier to read. Now let me go ahead and save my changes. And now let's go to the test runner to run this test. And here's the test right here, navigation spec. So I'm gonna click this test. And notice that it automatically goes to the URL that we specified. and the test passes. While we're on the topic of Cypress, you may be wondering how Cypress compares to Selenium. I recently wrote this article called Cypress versus Selenium. You can go ahead and check it out at adamaynow.io forward slash blog. In this article, I show you guys how Cypress compares to Selenium. I also show you guys the advantages and disadvantages of using each of these tools. Thanks so much for tuning in today. If you're new to Cypress, check out the video on the screen so you can learn how to get started with it. I'll see you guys in the next video. This is the last test. This is the last test that we wrote. This is a lot. Dude, I can't talk. I need to be able to talk.